So super quick update for day two. Hopefully I'm getting better at this talking to the camera thing. I'm hoping to roll this into another video. But thanks to my cousin sending me a few links, discovered some royalty free images on a site. It's taken me an hour. I've now uh, got a cover art image for the YouTube channel. Uh, once again, completely free. Still haven't spent any money. Uh, and it doesn't look too bad. So as you can see, got a cover art, got the first video up. Um, pretty happy, not bad for two days and zero money. Looking good. All right, so I'm on my lunch break. Um, I wrote a blog post this morning and I wanted to recap a little bit from it uh, as part of the video. And what it was basically about was, you know, the main goal for this week was coming up with the idea. Uh, I've had some progress in the other areas, but the main goal this week was to come up with the idea or the list of ideas and whatnot. And I was looking at it from a, a standpoint of a, just a traditional way of breaking it down and working out what to do, you know. So eliminate anything far-fetched, uh, rate it based on what I enjoy, what I'm good at. And that shit was whack. Maybe a better approach is coming up with some broader questions and a framework that I'd put together unknowingly uh, over the last you know, X amount of years or X amount of months or whatnot around what really makes me want to do this and why I'm working towards it. So the four questions uh, will rule out um, a lot of stuff for me when I look at this idea list later tonight. Now, those four questions will go into depth into the blog, but you know, things like, do I have any capital? So obviously that's a no. <clears throat> so straight away that rules out any product-based business. And then, what do I enjoy most? Strengths versus weaknesses. Traditional sort of things, but more from a a broader range look at it you know I got somewhere and then I sort of think all right well why why the hell am I fucking putting myself through this grueling task and you know putting effort into this why and I thought I'd add a little bit to this video and and turn it from a what I've done today to something that is a little more useful to others so in case you don't read the blog post, I think it's useful for anyone looking to start this journey to actually look at something like these four questions or develop your own broader questions. And you know those questions were, so number one, do I have any capital? Now that will help rule out or open the doors to a lot of different things. Um, when you start defining you know, what capital you have and, and what you can use to start or the things you can leverage are around you, it'll really help you look at your ideas list and, and see whether things are viable or not, regardless of how good you think they might be. So the second one is, what do I enjoy the most? So going into a new industry or any industry, any field, you're going to have to learn. So if that's the case, what do you enjoy reading about? Um, what do you enjoy learning about? What do you enjoy talking about? What do you enjoy watching on YouTube? Um, look at your YouTube history search. What have you looked up? Um, what can be really useful going into something like this is if you do something that you enjoy uh, learning about. That can make this a lot easier to spend the hours needed to learn the skills when it doesn't feel like a, a chore. Thirdly, you know, strengths versus weaknesses. So this can be hard sometimes to look at it from an objective point of view and not worry about what you think you're good at and more actually list what you are good at. So the way I approached it was looking at the, what people have said about me when they've been drunk, when they've been honest, whatever. But also why they've said they've come to me for different things, which uh, was interesting. Um, it definitely changed what I wrote down as my strengths because it was not what I thought my strengths were. Fourth and foremost, so the last question, why are you even doing this? If you can't answer to yourself why you're doing something, how are you supposed to communicate that to anyone around you to help you to get funding to work out an idea? If you can't work out why you're doing something, why are you doing it? And I think that's really important. So if you don't want to check out my blog post, um, leave a comment down below uh, answering those four questions. Uh, check out, if you want some more in-depth stuff on your why, check out Simon Sinek on YouTube. Google, blogs, his website. Once again, I'll find a way to link it. Um, check it out. It could be very inspiring or very demoralizing, whichever way you take it. Hopefully the former.
So a little more in depth on my why. You know, what am I trying to achieve here? Why am I doing this? So my original answer in the blog post this morning was enjoyment, growth and fulfillment, personal satisfaction, um, creating value for others, and wanting to be remembered for something other than my good looks, which I'm not gonna be remembered for. Growth, enjoyment, and personal satisfaction will come from finally fulfilling this, this want and this need I've had for so long, which is to work for myself and start my own business. I've spent so many years helping others uh, in different ways, and so many years watching how things should not be done, in my personal opinion. Um, and I think it's, it's grown on me to a point now where it's a need more than a want. I need to do something. Um, so that sort of leaves a couple of things. So leaving enjoyment. Now, a uh, quote that comes to mind is another Gary Vee quote, and that is, if you're waiting for the weekend to have fun, your shit is broke. Now, the way I read that is, when you start doing things you enjoy for work, and looking at, say, something like Tim Ferriss's four-hour work week, all of a sudden, shit doesn't feel like work. You know, you're doing it, instead of doing it nine to five because you have to, you're doing it seven till seven, seven till eight, uh, seven days a week because you want to. All of a sudden, your work week comes down to like three hours doing your books or a couple of hours going through emails and replying to shitty FAQ questions, um, which you could do on a Sunday where you're sitting there getting ready for the football or whatnot. Uh, all of a sudden, you're not waiting for the weekend to have fun. You're enjoying your time. And, and I really want to do that because let's face it, we have one life we may as well enjoy it. Adding value to the world. I don't want to simply do something that can make me money based on taking other people's hard-earned cash. I want to give something back and, and not just, probably not just a simple product. So it's gonna have to be service-based to be able to give back to the world and put stuff out there. You know, same thing. I don't want to rehash someone's shitty online course that you pay $99 for and you know you get the same thing you've heard from every other person just said in a different way by a different person with a different voice. Uh, I don't want to do that. That's fine for some people and each to their own but that's just not for me. Um, and the last thing is sort of legacy which is a, a word you don't often hear from you know people in general um, and it's not something you hear from a 28 year old like myself ever but watching you know, a lot of Gary Vaynerchuk of late, um, or for a long time, but something he, he's big on is legacy. And I think that's really important. Uh, I wanna get to a point where in my life I am remembered for something other than, well, nothing. Even if it's just a few people out there remembering me as one of the reasons they got over one of the hurdles that was preventing them from starting a business, that would be awesome. So having that as a goal, I think, is is important to me. So I really want to make sure that whatever I choose, it's ethical, obviously it's legal, it adds value to people, and it's not based around making money. And like I said, each to their own, uh, you know, dropshipping. There are plenty of people out of there that make a healthy living on dropshipping. It's just not for me. And that's something I, I've learned recently with selling stuff, selling my personal stuff on eBay. So it's, it's coming along nicely. I've made a little bit of money, but something I've, I've learned is that having products, so by extension, buying and selling products, so selling them on eBay, it's just not something that I'm enjoying. Um, I'm making money and I'm still not enjoying it. So that's a big thing. This is being recorded on the 18th of November, 2016. Hopefully it goes up later tonight, if not on the weekend. Um, hopefully by the end of the weekend, I've, I can say I've got a video that I've nailed down uh, my idea and then it's all steam ahead from there. So, see you soon. All right, so it's Friday afternoon. I'm about halfway through writing the second blog post for today, but I was sitting here and, and two things came to mind. One is I really need to cut my lawn. So from where I am, I can see my front lawn and I've been trying to grow it for a few months and it really needs to be cut. Now, when I thought of that, uh, the second thing popped to mind, I'm like, but that's wasted time. I'm trying to devote all my time and energy and, and any spare moment I get to this. What I thought was, how can I turn that wasted time into usable time so I can get more than one thing done? And what I thought of was I got a whole bunch of stuff in my YouTube watch list. And if I throw on my Bluetooth headphones, 
mobile on with a TED talk or some sort of video on uh, in the background, I can glance over and see it, but I can listen to it. So the hour or so it takes me to wash my lawn, uh, cut my lawn, I'll actually get an hour of learning in. And that's something that stems from a Charlie Munger um, mental model or just a quote, whatnot. And it's the more you learn, the more you earn. And that's really important. Uh, if you want to start something, you've got to learn, as I said earlier. And it's about trying to find time throughout your day that you can do more than one thing. Because everyone's busy, family, working, playing with the kids, sport, chores, whatever. But trying to find ways like mowing the lawn and throwing the headphones on where you can incorporate learning is really important. It'll allow you to get that step ahead and not drop the ball on anything else. So, all right, off to finish the blog. Either start editing the video or um, start culling the ideas list. Um, but I'm looking forward to this weekend. I should be able to get both done, hopefully before tomorrow. So Sunday I can start looking at the idea I've chosen. Fingers crossed. All right. So I've started uploading the videos uh, off my phone and onto YouTube for editing, which takes a while. So um, I'm trying to get more familiar with, with talking to the camera. And the way I'm doing that is I'm, instead of taking written notes, I'm now taking video notes. So every time I think of something that I want to remember for the blog, the blog, to-do list, whatever, um, I'm flipping out the phone, grabbing the camera, and I'm talking to it. And I'm hoping that over time, so it's been a few days now and I think it's slowly getting better. Um, I'm hoping over time I can get really familiar with talking to the phone and maybe get to a point where I can end up like uh, one of those uh, vloggers out there that they're walking around their phone talking freely and you get their full personality across. Um, slowly it's getting there, but uh, it'll take some time. So now I'll go back to the computer room, see if these videos are uploaded and keep trying to cull this list. So far I've taken off about 12 ideas that were point number one, completely far-fetched. Next culling is to pull out part two, which was anything that's product-based. Once again, anything that's product-based or anything that requires any capital to start because I've got goose egg, zero, nada, nothing. So anything that requires any sort of startup fund to get things going to start making money is off the table.